I'd like it to be known before this video even begins that this is being done reluctantly. I genuinely, like here lies the hopes and dreams of Rudy Gay in all of this card that you see in front of you right now. There was a chance for greatness to happen, but you know, just the 2K community just fucked itself up. But you know, it is what it is. This is still a, a quote unquote prime flash Wade. Um, the three points on it is quite shit and that's why I thought Rudy would have probably been better because he would have had the better jump shot and still been able to actually just sauce people up. So it would have been nice to have that card but it is what it is, this Flash Wade is still appreciated because Dwayne Wade is usually whack in 2k, the last good one was probably Onyx Wade in um, 15. I've actually grown a tendency to enjoy reviewing cards this way instead, instead of just playing one face cam game where I try to go off with that card specifically. I get a good number of games in like 3 to 4 to 5 and then have a good solid set of clips to see actually what the player can do, what they're good at, and it's not just me abusing them for one game. So my first impressions of the Wade specifically as I jump into a game, I didn't know what the fuck this lineup was, so I wasted no time when the game commenced, I just backed right the fuck out, I didn't want to know what that stress was like. However, in the game that followed it, lucky enough, I was actually being guarded by the Gary Payton, so it was a good test for this Wade. And my initial impressions, I would say that he is like the Diamond MJ, but a free version of him. He gets very streaky when you take jump shots even in the mid-range but when it comes to driving to the basket it's actually annoying like as me even using him it's annoying i feel bad for the other person no because he's so good going to the basket and so streaky when you start taking jump shots with him that's the reason i like to run him at point guard just because then i can be aggressive when i go to the rim because in my experience one of three things are going to happen a he's going to dunk all the fuck over whoever is in front of him as you just saw B, he's going to get fouled, or 3, he's going to attempt a dunk and miss the dunk because 2K said so. I'm okay with chances 2 out of 3 getting him points, I'm totally fine with that. But as long as you're using him, I think your first priority should be getting to the basket before you take a jump shot because I don't know about you, but for me, it's that's another reason I like using my point guard because for me, I cannot stand using a, like a person at shooting guard that cannot fucking shoot. Like, it does not compute in my brain. But to be completely fair, he actually makes a pretty good point guard in my opinion. His dribble moves are there, the speed boost is there the ball control is there the passing stats are there but also the fact that he can just abuse one-on-one -on -one so easily that there has to be a collapse or there has to be help at the rim so one way or another you're going to find somebody open but now it's actually about time that we get to the best portion of the video that is not even about this fucking trash pink diamond it's about this goon named west unselled that should be in your collection even if he's not on your team own him this west unselled 6'7", 245 pounds of pure fucking tub is going to run any single lineup that you run into online. He is possibly one of the best big short men in the game right now. I don't know why the fuck anybody would actually run him at center, but I would say it's good to put him at the 2 through 4. Yes, the 2 through 4. It honestly comes down to how much of a fuck I don't give about my opponent. That's the position I'm going to put him in for the game. He's one of the few one-of-a-kind cards in the game right now, and for good reason, because he has passing stats in the 90s. 95 driving layer, maxed out post stats, maxed out rebounding, a maxed out block, maxed out defensive stats, high lateral quickness, high speed, and five Hall of Fame badges. Jesus Christ. Now the weird thing about this card is he's accidentally so good for me. He accidentally drops 20 points. He actually does things to make me win the game. I don't go to him whatsoever. He's just the person that is left open. Like the other team is like, let's not guard this fat boy because he's not going to do anything against us offensively or defensively. Then he fucks the whole team up and next thing you know, he has 20 points, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, like 3 or 5 from 3 and just shitting on all the competition. It's beautiful to watch, in all honesty, that's why I feel like everybody should own the card. Because at first glance, you're like, he's 6'7", a ball of tub, probably won't do anything for my team. But in reality, he's he's like going to carry you. Every time somebody is left open, and, it's and, West. And Look at him running much. back from the shit. If somebody is left open, it's West. If somebody gets the rebound and pushes it, it's West. If somebody gets a clean up put back, it's West. Like the like the, the he just leaks off into the distance, it's West. He's getting the cherry pick buckets. He's the glue guy that makes your team unstoppable. And just as proof, I'm going to let this one clip run that goes for like four or five possessions to show you how much he can actually accidentally take over a game. 
You see him get those two cherry pick buckets real quick just because he's fast as shit and he's going to get out on the break. That's I'm going to give him those just because he's going to get hot off of those. I don't look for him in the post to be honest. If Duncan is in the game, I'm going to give it to Duncan first more than anybody else. But the duo of him and Wade was perfect because when I get these drives and collapses, guess who's open in the corner? Bang, bang, boy. And the fact that he's consistently making that shot is what I'm appreciating about the card because there are all, there are so many diamond cards in the mode at this point. Let's be real. And all of them you can talk about being overpowered in their own way. But the key to having a really great diamond card as he's out on the break again and not getting blocked. It's fucking amazing. The key to seeing which cards are actually great are the ones that are consistent, that don't miss when they get the open shots. Wes is one of those cards. That's why you saw I wasn't big on the Diamond MJ card because he would still go on random mistreaks. The only cards that I know in this game that are completely consistent are like Diamond Mellow and Diamond Porzingis, Diamond T-Mac 2. Wes is one of those cards. If it's a good shot, he's going to make it and he makes all types of them. Lobs, pull up threes, corner threes, on the break in transition, cleanups, and I think it's only fair that you don't look at his height and actually try him because he might change your life like he changed mine. And all in all, I do think the Pink Diamond Wade is a good card. I would say it's more of a fun card than it is an overpowered card, but this Wes, oh <laughs> fucking boy, go get him.